Okay, I think we should be good now. This new YouTube uh, creator studio thing, it's a little bit odd, but I think I finally got to work. Hello, morning. Uh, I guess good afternoon for some people. Morning, morning, morning. Happy Black Friday. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving for everyone who celebrated it. Um, what's up? All right. Okay, so it's just showing the thumbnail. Okay. It's 4 12 a.m. in Australia. You get any uh, Black Friday deals in Australia? Hey, thanks for the uh, $1 donation, Thermal. Okay, sweet. $550 gaming PC? Um, that would... I would say that would need a Ryzen 5 1600 in it. Um, but so much turkey. I actually had zero turkey this Thanksgiving. We had turkey at our place. Uh, we hosted at, at my house this year. Um, all the different families and... Zero turkey. A lot of Asian food, though. People on the other side of the world are awake. I wonder if... How many people... Uh, actually, it's 1045 here on the West Coast in the U.S. So a lot of people should be up. I don't know what people typically do for Black Friday, though. Because... Um, a lot of people get Thanksgiving and... Uh, and of Black Friday off, so uh, I honestly usually just do some shopping in the morning or like around midnight ish. But then the rest of the Friday, I don't really have anything planned. What do you guys usually do on Black Friday? Which chair is it, bro? This is the chair. Oh wait, let me. This is the chair I'm using. For those who are wondering, it's used, it goes on sale quite a bit, so I'll link it. Too long. But it's the Staples Hiken Technical Mesh Chair. This is the chair that I'm using for people who are wondering. Um, it usually goes down to like 110 ish, though, when it's on sale, more so than this. Uh, okay, so just giving people a few minutes before we start looking at all the different uh, deals that are going on, but it looks like some people are looking for some pre-builds. Uh, you got some 3600 RAM for 100 AUD, which I forget how much that is in USD. Oh, 67 bucks, nice. I haven't, uh, the only thing I bought, okay, so for Black Friday this year, the only thing I bought was this, this Nest deal at Costco, where is it? This is the only thing I bought this year so far, and it's because it was on sale for 80 bucks off, but we've been looking for a thermostat for my house, uh, just so that we can control it on our phones, because we have a really old Honeywell one, where you have to, like, literally program every single day each hour and it gets pretty annoying when we're trying to plan out heating our house uh just when we come home at variable times of the day so getting one that's controllable on your phone is going to be nice and this thing has a smart learning where it kind of uses these sensors to determine when it's going to heat up your house but this is the only thing i bought this year it's going for 140 bucks which is 80 bucks off apparently so yeah not any pc parts but this morning i hope to buy some stuff uh, for PCs, but, um, $80 for a monitor, ooh, uh, that's gonna be a rough one, but let me pull up the spreadsheets that, um, uh, Google Sheets, let me pull up the spreadsheets that all the different companies sent to me this year, Black Friday Deals.
Ram half off, uh, Corsair LPX. How much did you get it for Techie Tech? Because half off, I mean, the standard price for Ram now is like 65 bucks for 16 gigs. So did you get it for that much or did you get it for like 30 something dollars? Okay, so get shareable link. Copy link. Okay, so we're going to go to the spreadsheet. Um, what's a good one terabyte NVMEs if you get the kind of budget ones like the Intel 660p or the the Crucial P1 those should be going for around like 80 bucks for one terabyte NVMe otherwise everything else should be around I think a hundred dollars like for the A Data XPG series uh 240 let's see 240 Pounds to USD. Three ten for a ten seventy founders edition. That sounds a little expensive. But then again, I don't know uh, UK prices. Oh, uh, for I'm pretty sure we can find a bunch of two forty SSD. Two forty. Yeah. So let's see. For around thirty bucks. Um, do you want it to be M dot two or two and a half inch? Uh, okay, chat's going way too fast for right now. Uh, a SanDisk one. Wait, does SanDisk make NVMEs? I'm not sure if I've seen one. <sighs> oh, uh, the Extreme Pro. Apparently they do. These are going for 100 bucks. No, 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 no. That's... Yeah, that's only SanDisk one I see. Yeah, 88 SSDs are good. Um, I use one in my own system. Uh, Z derps. You talking about a pre built tower or eighty dollars for eighty dollars? Let me see what we have in this spreadsheet. Um, it's gonna be pretty tough. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're going to be able to find anything special. It's just going to be like a 60 hertz monitor. Uh, everything else is a, at least 100 bucks. Okay, like so this one right here. We'll go to this one. So this is going for $84. But it's nothing super special. It's just a 1080p. At least it's 24 and a half inch, which is kind of large. But, yeah, for $80, you're not going to be able to find any high refresh rate monitors. Um, here's this monitor, though. And I don't know if there's going to be any that are much cheaper than this. Let's see. Hey, what's up, Johnny? SSD hard drive combo. Uh... If I would just go for a three terabyte, you should be able to find those on eBay for around fifty or sixty bucks, uh, like a Hitachi Ultra Star or Dash Star. Okay, Spectratron. Sorry, uh, what did you say? Wait, which message am I trying to read? M.2 two NBB. Yeah, two fifty six for wait forty pounds. What's the conversion again? <sighs> One pound two. Oops. Uh, one pound of USD. So 1.29. So it's 1.3 ish. Uh, so you think 40 bucks? 1.3. That's 52 dollars for 256 gigs. Is that how expensive parts are in the UK? It seems a bit expensive to me. I would say 40 US dollars would be a good price. 
yeah, a, a 9400F and a 2060 pairs pretty well. Isn't buying a hard drive secondhand pretty fishy? Uh, I do it all the time, but you can buy new ones for pretty cheap. If you go on eBay, uh, I think Newegg also has brand new white label drives too. But uh, if you go to three terabyte hard drives, you can find a, so I don't know what brand, uh, so MDD. I would get something like a Hitachi three terabyte. This is brand new um, for 50 bucks. So there are plenty of one, two, and three terabyte drives on both eBay and Newegg for pretty reasonable prices. Can you tell me what keyboard you use? I, I can always, I can never remember. Uh, Mono price, uh, cherry brown keyboard. I I can never remember the model of the keyboard I use, but it's this one right here. Oh crap, you can't see it. But this is my keyboard right here. It's a Mono price one that has these kind of. Here, see if you can probably see it better. So let me find the name of it because it's not readily available on my uh, on the keyboard. But it's a Mono Price Brown RGB. It's got like a super generic name. Oh, here it is, the D20. Yeah, so Mono Price D20. This is the keyboard I use. Um, I think it's. I don't think it's a. I think it's a discontinued product because I can't click on it. But you might be able to find it in other places. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So. This is a keyboard I used. I uh, bought it a couple of years ago, though. Like an open box sale. So I'm not sure if it's available anymore. Hey, what's up, Chris? No dino onesie? Nah. Uh, I, I literally... So, Chris, remember when I told you I was going to stream around 9 yesterday? I ended up staying up to like 3 or 4 a.m. Uh, running uh, uh, undead strath or live strath rather in wow so then after six hours of sleep i woke up at 10 this morning I was like oh crap i'm late for the live stream so i got up right away put on whatever i could which was this mkbhd style hoodie and then started the stream um yeah so okay we did a land party this past august i'm still editing that video um so my plan is to hopefully get it done this weekend, but we'll see. But then we are going to land in, I think, February or January of this coming year. So that's going to be the next land party. Um, uh, let's see. Is it a pretty... Yeah, I'd say the Monoprice D20 is pretty trustworthy. Oh, here we go. All right, it's, it's a pretty reliable keyboard. That's not it. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to find it. Minor price deep. Yeah, uh, you just have to randomly check model price for when they bring the refurbished ones back up if you want it. Okay. Panther, the shackles, the ruling elite, East and slave. Yeah, yeah. Well, free ball, and <laughs> I am wearing shorts right now, though. As you can see, yeah, I'm wearing shorts. But. I just put this hoodie on for show up here. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take a look through this deal spreadsheet real quick because the way I've sorted this one out is by, wait, this is not the deal spreadsheet. Let me check the other one. Uh, okay, so where is it? Amazon only? Uh, let's see. So you look for a monitor. It, it for a hundred bucks. Let's see. Let's see if we can find what the cheapest one forty four hertz monitor is. Okay, here's a biotech one. For under a hundred bucks. I'm not sure if we're going to find anything cheaper than that. Sort by low to high. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, all these are 60 hertz. For 100 bucks, huh? Uh, yeah, this one might be the cheapest one. They don't look like they go lower than 130. Hey, what's up, Nick Lord Zero? Uh, you bought a Ryzen 7 2700X for 160. Nice, man. Um, Gratz, Gratz. Solid processor. Uh, any deals for under... For 4 terabytes, under 80 bucks. Uh, Canadian. See, I'm... I'm not sure what the eBay shipping is for Canadians is like. Uh, so like when you typically buy an eBay, is there an eBay Canada? I don't even know if all the shipping costs are the same for the different provinces though. Four terabyte though? That might be pretty rough. So we want brand new if we can. Oh, not hot swap. Yeah, 80 bucks. Ooh, it doesn't look like it's good. How much are the 3 terabytes, though? Yeah, there seems to be a huge jump uh, in Canadian for going from 3 to 4 terabytes. Where I would get, like, multiple 3 terabytes instead of the 4, just because of the prices here. 66 bucks versus uh, 100 ish. Unless this one's brand new. Yeah, this one's from the States. So, it is brand new. No, this one's a used one. Yeah, I don't know how much you have to pay uh, to import it from over here, though. Uh, so that you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't even tweet this out. I can never find the uh, the live link. YouTube.com slash Zero Budget. Is it slash live? There it is. Okay. Even though I'm not supposed to include the link in there. Let's see if it shows the correct, the correct uh, image on Twitter. Okay. It's generally about the same as U.S. before nothing crazy. Um, you sell pre-built PCs for seven sixty-five. Uh, Jesus with three S's at the end, or Jesus. <laughs> um, what website is that? Let's take a look at the pre-built. Hey, what's up, David Sharman? Thanks for the kind words. Um, are people still buying ACDs? Yeah, I'm still buying hard drives just for kind of like cold storage or. Um, I think people who archive like video footage and stuff because it's there's so large and there's so much of it. If you're like a content creator, it, it only makes sense to run hard drives. I have like nine terabytes of hard drive in my main system, and it's almost all filled up because of all the footage I have over like the last almost four years of making content. So it does not make sense to get nine terabytes of SSDs. That would be way too expensive. Um, I mean, at this point, I should already have a NAS, but I don't, because I'm lazy. Should you buy a 3600 or wait for the 4600? Um, if you want, I mean, you can always wait for the next best thing, right? But, I would say buy the 3600 now. I think it's priced well. If anything, buy the 2600, because uh, that's priced very well. That's like 120 bucks right now. Um, what is this? The Sony, is that, are those headphones? If those are headphones, then you should not ask me about the headphones. Oh, yeah. Sony noise-canceling headphones, uh, for 222 yeah. 
don't ask me questions about high-end headphones because um, if you want to watch someone who uh, knows a lot about headphones, um, let's see, Hardware Connect is a good one as well as like Bad Seed Tech. Uh, I'm trying to think of other headphone reviewers, but I'm not really into the whole headphone scene, uh, so I don't really watch too much content in it, on it. I have my Audio Technicas, uh, and that's about it. Mine are like the M, which one are these? The M40Xs too, so yeah, though I got it for like 80 bucks or something. Uh, did you see the For You Mount Rat case, uh, World Jewel case, New Head? Uh, I did not. I see Rose World 12 Rack Case. This one right here, the 12U. <laughs> you just bought one? Wait, uh, Rose World for you. Was this on sale for Black Friday? Because it's not, it's not being marked as one. Or it's not being marked as on sale. Okay, best $650 PC. Well, it depends on what the uh, Ryzen 3600 is going for. I think those are still around 200 bucks, right? They haven't been on that big of a sale. Uh, so, because I would say go down to a 2600 just because you can get it for, uh, you can save 80 bucks on it. And for $650, if you want to get like, a decent case and everything. Uh, huh. I don't think you can fit a 5700 with that price. Hello. Huh? No, not yet. Why? What's up? Hello. Oh, that's not it. Uh, which one is it then, Chris? Oh, for you. Sorry. Rose will for you. Ah, where's like one of these ones with the double handles? Okay, um, for six hundred fifty dollar PC. Oh, here it is, Black Friday deal. Wow, half off. Uh, what size hard drive are you gonna put this in? Uh, in here, Chris. Or what? What's your configuration gonna be? What's your plan? Um, yeah. So I would say for six hundred fifty dollars, a Ryzen sixteen hundred for uh, twenty six hundred for sure. But for the graphics card, you'd have to go to the used market. I would say a GTX ten seventy if you can for two hundred bucks. Um, uh, and then pretty standard everything else. Sixteen gigabytes of RAM for around sixty dollars. Uh, like a 500 gig SSD for 50 bucks, but the processor and video card are of course going to be the big ticket items. So how much are 1070s going for on eBay? I would get something like this for 200 bucks. Uh, our 16, let's see, I don't, I didn't see the 1616 going on sale, uh, 200 bucks, the super is, how much is the super going for right now, for around 230, you could, yeah, if you can't go used, then you could go with the, with the 1660, or 1660 super, Though for six fifty, it's gonna be pretty tight. You're gonna have to go for a cheaper case. Picked up, a, yeah, ten seventy local for one seventy. That's a good price. Can I do a video with Linus Tech Tips? No, because I'm way too small of a channel for him to work with. Linus has way bigger fish to fry than to work with a small channel like me. But, um. A 9700K with a 1660Ti, um, I would say that's a little CPU heavy in terms of 
the, if you were to talk about balance. But if you're not gaming, and if you're doing more content creation, then yeah, that's fine. You'd buy 10 terabyte externals for 160 each. Okay, check the drive, sold them in the for you case. How many would you buy though, to start off with? Oh man, yeah, I still need to buy one of those Western Digital uh, external hard drives. That's actually something I should look for right now. Uh, where's that spreadsheet? I have like way too many tabs open. I don't even know if there's there's one going for. Let's see. Yeah, I there were no a new egg. There were no uh, external drives. That let's see, ten terabytes. 10 terabytes or 12 terabytes. Uh, 10 and 12 is pretty much the sweet spot for these. <clears throat> Probably start with four or five. Dang, at 160 each. That's like 800 bucks for five. That's expensive, man. Okay. This doesn't seem right. Something's off right now. Because there are way cheaper external drives than this. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, what the heck. So we'll go for 8, 10, and 12 terabytes. Well, something's up with the search right now. There should be way more uh, external hard drives than this. Or something's going on with Newegg. This is a good gaming laptop for $650. Ryzen 5 with a GTX 1050. I would say no. Um, if you're looking at a 1050 laptop, there was one on Slick Deals uh, for, I think, like... 450 or 500 I think Let's take a look Let's take a look two days ago for 1050 for 450 bucks right now um, Yeah, so with the for 1050 I wouldn't pay more than much more than like 500 maybe 550 uh, cuz they're they're kind of considered entry level gaming laptops. A lot of money, but it's a lot safety. Ten terabyte standalone drives are too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely the the shuckable externals are the way to go. But I thought they were cheaper. Let's see how much uh, external hard drive. Let's see how much Amazon has them for. One hundred sixty bucks, right? That's what you're saying earlier, but. Are none of these on sale right now? Well, this sucks. Yeah, 10 terabyte element, 12 terabyte. 8 terabytes are pretty cheap. Uh, 120. So you, gotta, you just gotta look to see if it's shuckable. But yeah, this is something I need to look for throughout today. Because I, I am at the point where I need at least one uh, one of these larger external drives. My drives are getting are so full right now. Oh. I hear a kitty cat. Give me one second. Hey, come here. Okay, never mind. Never mind, she didn't want to come in. How can I get 1440... 144 FPS. 144, 144 FPS average? You're gonna need like a 1070. Uh, I don't think a five RX five eighty is gonna cut it unless you lower the graphics pretty drastically. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, on a sixteen sixty, yeah, you're gonna have to lower the graphics. You're not gonna be able to max it out. Even though Apex Legends isn't that heavy of a title to run, like you, a lot of graphics cards can run it maxed out. 
uh, at pretty good frame uh, frame rates. Like an RX 480 should be able to get like 80, 90, 100 FPS. But uh, if you want 144 like average, you're gonna have to lower it to probably like low to medium low. Okay, Hank Beast. Yeah, if you want an Amazon monitor, um, let's see. This was a 75 hertz one, but is it truly 75 hertz? Deceptor. Um, there's not too many 24 inch monitors that are going for under 100 bucks. A lot of these are, as you can see, 21 inch, 29 inch. So Deceptor is looking like, uh, and this BenQ. If you're trying to squeeze out the largest monitor you can get, um, this one's likely 60 hertz though. Let's see. Here's a 24 inch Dell one with the low uh, response time, 60 hertz. There's a TN panel though. Do you care about color quality? Here, I'll send you two of them, Hank. All right, I'll send you all three. Okay. No, a 1050 Ti is noticeably stronger than a 660 Ti. Is this not the right link? Okay, here we go. Light technology, okay. So someone asked about these pre built PCs. From Light Gaming. I haven't heard of this company. Black Friday sale. No build fee. Uh, okay, let me see. I want to look about this. Is there an about? No build fee. Usually companies don't talk about build fees unless they're smaller, I feel. Like Cyber Power and I Buy Power and all those, they don't talk about build fees. Is this trying to play a video? Wait, what's that sound? Okay, so you're looking at the Onyx, uh, this one right here. Build yourself, uh, this, this one right here, Light Onyx, GTX 1060 for $765. Oh, so they normally do charge a build fee of $100, but they're slashing that. So let's see what you, what you get. See, a 1060, ah, uh, are, are 1063 gigabytes even being sold anymore right now? I guess they are. For, that's not worth it. You can find these for like 90 to 100 bucks. Well, this one after rebates, 150. So they're going just off of like, like at this point, I wouldn't buy this. Uh, a 1060 for 165 here. 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Wait, what? An i7 4770? No, no, no. Don't buy this. I I kind of overlooked this, but gigabyte gaming motherboard. We don't even know if it's an uh, overclockable motherboard. 185 dollars for a 4770. You can always get a 3600 for that. <laughs> no. I don't, do not buy this, uh, whoever linked this. There should be better pre built out there. Uh, desktop. Okay, let me see if I can find anything. Desktop, 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 PC. Dang it, I think all these are going to be like 
I see Skytech. Here we go. Here you go. If you want a pre-built, this might be a better option. So we compare the two. Eight gigabytes. Ah, oh, you're killing me here. Why? Why you do this to me? At least this has SSD though. This one has a 500 gig hard drive. What? A 500 gig hard drive and a 128 SSD. Th these aren't specs you want for 765 dollars. Yeah, that hard pass on this one. Um, there's nothing. There's no redeemable qualities about this, except for that the SSD and the RAM is. Oh, it's DDR3, duh, yeah, because it's with, um, it's with the Haswell processor. So, yeah, don't, in this day and age, don't spend over, like, 600 bucks for a computer with components that aren't this old. Uh, let me see if we can find any other pre-built desktops, though. I don't think there were any from Newegg in this spreadsheet, from what I could find. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Were there any more? Okay, it's if if you're gonna buy a pre-built, it's gonna definitely have a Ryzen like five in it because those are way cheaper. So Ryzen 7 2700, 16 gigabytes of RAM, RX 580. Here we go. Okay, this one just quick. Just after like one second of searching, this would be just based on the specs alone. It doesn't have SSD, but you can throw one in for like get a 240 gigabyte for like 30 bucks. It's gonna kind of have uh, entry level power supply, power supply most likely, uh, and just like not a fancy motherboard. But this alone is way better than the other PC we just looked at uh, from Light. From light gaming, um, but we can we can we can look for better. Let's see, 1050 Ti. There's a Ryzen 1200 Skytech. I've been seeing a lot of PCs from these guys. Here we go. This one's for 660. It's got a Ryzen 2600 in it and a 1660. Uh, how much RAM? Eight gigabytes. Okay, but you can upgrade that really easily and it has a 500 gigabyte ssd in it already and i actually like this case uh this looks like the game diaz case um but yeah this would also be a better uh a better buy than that light gaming pc it's just if you're gonna spend like six to seven hundred dollars do not buy like haswell uh, architecture like hop on the Ryzen at least okay um, do you know a good 1440p gaming monitor I mean with the it, it'd be too hard to find a quick let's see we'll, we'll take a look but I would need to do like way more research off of stream between all the different ones that we're going to find. So 1440p is still going to be like 24 inches. I wouldn't go for like uh, a large monitor. Okay. Uh, oh wait, no, you said 1440p, not 144 hertz. I just mixed that up in my head. Uh, so yeah, 27 inch would be a good size for that. Can we sort by resolution? 2560, here we go. You see how cheap these are going. So there's no 1440p monitors for less than 200 bucks, eh? Yeah. Yeah, so I would probably compare this Biotech ViewSonic and this Asus one. Nope, 75 hertz. Which what are these? Are these all 75?
Are 27 inch 1440p is really 200 bucks right now? I haven't looked at monitors lately, and especially I haven't looked at uh, anything that's not ultra wide. So where is this? So 75 hertz here. Oh, there's 144 hertz. Oh, I would definitely. Okay, wait, wait, wait. And which one's this? Um. Yeah. So for the extra 30 bucks, I would hop on. Uh, to this one. From these two. This one. What's the refresh rate on these? Why do they not have the information readily available? Yeah, if you put in Hertz, it's nowhere to be found on here. So I can't speak on this ViewSonic, but uh, I would get this Biotech. Just based off of quickly looking right now. Uh, they really need to start putting refresh rates in like all the titles. Because it's annoying to have to look through every single one. Uh, I'll link this one. Ah, come on, you're killing me. I should probably really be making this into an affiliate link, but too lazy. How Are, are my tabs killing me yet? Okay. Hey, what's up, Elmad268? Sorry, I was, I was going on that monitor search and I did not see your comment. What's up? I do notice you. How you doing? Uh, P400 A versus Corsair Spec Delta. Uh, actually, okay. So let's pull those up. P400 A, and then Corsair Spec Delta. So 90 bucks versus 70 bucks. Ooh, okay. One of them has actual mesh in front of it. Uh, does this one already come with the fans? Okay. Does this come populated with fans already? Like, why is this thing 90 bucks? Where's the specs? Where's the specs? So it comes with one rear fan and three. Okay, and it comes with three of the 120 millimeter. Okay, um, I mean this this looks like a nice case. It's just if you look at how much room it has for airflow, uh, it's just gonna be that this this little region right here. That's the only uh, space it has to pull in air. So these two are kind of fans are being kind of choked, but. Um, I mean, aesthetically, I, um, then you have to buy fans for this one. So a nice set of fans is going to cost you like 20 to 30 bucks. So they're about the same price. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm leaning toward the Fantex just because it has, it has better, uh, airflow in the front. But the Corsair does look sweet. I mean, uh, it looks kind of like a shard of glass, like the way that the, the front panel is angled with the... I'm guessing that, yeah, this is definitely acrylic in the front. There's no way they did that in glass. Uh, I would personally go for the Fantex, but I don't think you could go wrong going for either of them. Whether you're going for more aesthetics or slightly more like airflow. Um, yeah, but... Not everyone's into overclocking. Like, if you put in, let's, let's just say, whatever uh, processor, whether it be, like, a, a locked Intel or even, like, a Ryzen, and you keep them at stock. Um, I wonder if there's... Does this have an airflow chart? Usually they show, like, where the airflow is coming from, but apparently this says high airflow, and somehow it's saying it's coming from the front. I'm not sure if I completely believe this, because it's only going to be coming from down here, uh, right here. High airflow, huh? Inlaid mesh on the front panel. Yeah, that's not that much of a mesh. So just keep that in consideration. I don't think you'll throttle if you run everything on stock and have a sufficient cooler. Oh, the P400A RGB version. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Oh. Wait, did this come with the fans? This looks nice. <laughs> okay. Specifications, three fans. 
Yeah, it, it, it does come with a three. Okay. Uh, well, I think that kind of settles it then. <laughs> I would go for this one. Because even though it doesn't have uh, like a kind of clear front, you can see the fancy of the mesh. And I think that it looks pretty good. I would go for the RGB P400A. Yeah, I think that, I think this actually looks nice. There's airflow on the top of this one, yeah, but I I do see that there's airflow on the top, but you also have to have so that's just uh for exhaust. You're gonna need to pull in the air somewhere. It doesn't make sense to have a setup where you have intake on the top and pulling out through the rear right here. You want the air to go through a majority of the case, right? So the, unless there's intake at the bottom, then this is still going to be pretty choked. Um, yeah, there's a difference between the the Ryzen 1600 and 2600, depending on the applications, anywhere from like 10 to 20%. But the price difference, I think the Ryzen 1600 is going for 80 bucks still. Uh, wow, the, wait, it's going for 100 bucks. So you're paying 20% more or 20 more dollars for the 2600, but you're getting about that much higher performance from it. So um, I, I recently built in with the Ryzen 1600. I think for lower cost builds, it's still very viable. Um, but it depends. Like 20 bucks for a lower budget is a larger percentage of it, right? Like if you're doing a $400 build, then or four hundred fifty dollar bills, twenty bucks is harder to kind of squeeze out. Top, of, oh the normal front panel. I'm sorry. Uh, wait, there's mesh on the top of here. Oh, I don't know, man. Like, I I, I see what you're talking about. Uh, these pictures are hard to see. Yeah, yeah, but that's not that much. You're talking about this mesh right here. A majority, especially this fan, is gonna be pretty starved. Um, again, I think aesthetically this thing looks good and I could overlook the, uh, the airflow being a little bit limited, uh, depending on the system I'm putting into it, right? Uh, I'm not going to put like a super high end system, uh, that I am trying to overclock into this, but for like a, just a standard build where it's, the overclock is pretty light, uh, I, I could go for this, but still, uh, overall, I think this one, I don't know, I, I like mesh front panels. Uh, we're starting to see a lot of companies kind of move away from it. So when we do see it, it's kind of uh, like a breath of fresh air to see them bringing it back. Uh, yeah, if you li live near Micro Center, 2700X for 130 bucks. Did that sale going on yet? Let's see. Uh, 2700X, you said. Uh, so normally those are, so the Micro Center has it for a hundred and, come on, let's see if it's on sale yet. I forgot if it was on sale today or like closer to Cyber Monday. It is. Plus you can get the $30 off when you bundle it. So definitely go with this if you have, like, this is definitely the best deal if you're building a system right now, I think. Because um, with this $30 off, it's essentially becoming a hundred dollars if you have a Micro Center near you. I would pick this up. Yeah, literally a breath of fresh air because you have more airflow. Okay. Uh, thanks for bringing that up, Iza Shu or Iza Shu. Buy this case, the Ab Concor. I haven't heard of this case. Oh, this looks pretty cool. But I don't think this is this available in the US. It is, it's not available right here, but I haven't heard of this company. Um, uh, this is a pretty, a pretty kind of like a simple and clean looking case. This is the airflow to the front. What? It's good. There's gotta be airflow to the bottom. Right. Cause this is on the side of the fans. If you put fans back here, it's not gonna do much. Um, I can't see the bottom though. A lot of times these cases, they have, oh yeah, okay, there's mesh right here. I'm sure there's mesh down here. So for this one, you would you would set it up for uh, 
intake on the bottom to pull air up through here to exhaust out the top and the back. I wouldn't put fans in the front here because they wouldn't be as effective. What? 45 USD? Well, we can't see it right now, unfortunately. But 45 bucks? Uh, I like. It's out of stock. Was this on sale for Black Friday? Let's see if I can find it on Google Shopping. Nope. Okay. Well, uh, probably not going to be on Amazon. It's pretty... They do have it for the tempered glass version for $91. Oh, this looks weird. Okay, I'm not a fan of this one as I was the other one. Yo, bro, should I get a Ryzen 7 or i7? i9 is mostly going to be used for gaming live stream. Budget is $1,000. See, I would still lean for a Ryzen 7 just because you could throw more money at the graphics card, even at like a $1,000 budget. Um, yeah, just the motherboard and the motherboards you can go for like a B450 still if you don't need uh, any of the extra features from the X, X570 because that's still the only chipset for the 500 series. Is X550 out yet? Or wherever the X5... Uh, 50 motherboard... Yeah, these are probably never going to be... Uh, whoa, whoa. I don't know why Zen 2 only has one chipset right now, but it kind of makes it sucky and expensive. So I would go for a Ryzen uh, 7 with like a B450 and then throw it the rest of the money at like a big graphics card. Because at $1,000, you can fit in like a $400 graphics card and then spend 600 on the rest of the components to get like a nice big SSD and a nicer case and fans and stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't spend the extra money on Intel personally, even though Intel still technically edges out um, AMD for gaming, uh, but it's not by that much. Um, okay. Uh, I'm just going to take a look at what they have on the Black Friday sales. Oh, I should probably link the spreadsheet. Um, for anyone who's just looking for deals, uh, let's see, for Jason monitors. So, just to go over the spreadsheet a little bit, uh, for content creators, companies would hit you up and say, hey, we have these deals if you want to promote them. So, the nice thing about it is that uh, you don't have to sort through a bunch of pages. Everything is just on like one sheet and you can like control F to find certain things you're looking for. Like if I wanted to look for SSD, I would go to this Newegg one and I would just search up here for like SSD and they'll literally be highlighted and I can go through them. Uh, you can copy and paste this and edit it if you want. I just kept it unedited or I just made it so that it couldn't be edited so people couldn't delete them. Uh, but yeah, you can look for SSDs here for like a X... XPG, wow, that's pretty expensive. I wouldn't consider that a deal. But you can search by the categories on the left here uh, and then look out. The way I have it sorted right now is by discounts. So the top stuff is kind of dumb, like this massage chair. is discounted $3,000 apparently, but uh, you can copy and paste this into your own Google Sheets and sort it as you need to. Um, hey, wait, is Andy Johnson in here? Oh, wait. Andy Johnston, not Andy Johnson. Are there any mini ITX boards you would recommend? Uh, honestly, not off the top of my head. I would just go for... Uh, I'm get, Let's see, B450. I'm assuming you're talking about Ryzen. Uh, no, this is a micro... Wait, is this a micro ATX? Yeah, it is. But if you look for ITX, um, you're going to have a bad time. Because they're going to be at least 100 bucks, I think. I think the Fatality one is one of the cheapest ones. 
Uh, this aura, actually, let's see. So the Aorus one's 120 bucks. Uh, Gaming Plus is 130. Yeah. Uh, this one's 110. Uh, I would probably grab the RS one. I like how it has a built-in. I don't know why it has such low reviews on here. I would have to take a look further at like a actual more in-depth reviewer. Oh wait, oh the the IO shield is not put on ahead of time. But you're not gonna find it much cheaper than 100 bucks. So you're gonna have uh, three or four options around like the 120 dollar price point. Um, it's hard to say. You'd have to do a side by side comparison. Okay, you recently upgraded to a 1440p 144 hertz IPS fan. Colors are way better than TN, uh, but you actually noticed the increased response time. Okay, yeah. Uh, what games are you playing, by the way? That where you are re noticing the response time? Are you playing like Twitch shooters? You play at 900p. <laughs> Gotta get the that FPS up. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at NZXT sales real quick. So almost all the cases are discounted around like anywhere from ten to forty dollars off. Um I actually I like the H five tens. Seventy bucks. The, it's just the cost of decent fans. I wish all these companies would include decent uh, front fans. Because cost of decent fans is like... For a set of three, if you don't want RGB, it'll be like 20 bucks. So it'll drive, you know, this case and fan combo up to like 90. I, I wish... Like NZXT fans, uh, the stock ones that they normally include are pretty decent. I don't know how much it would cost them, but I, if they could include it, that would be nice. Just so it saves you a little bit. Why do I use Firefox? Uh, I use Firefox because um, on my Chrome, it has all my personal stuff in it. I guess if I go to incognito mode, it might not. But um, I don't want something to accidentally pop up, like my private information. Like if I was on my on Google Chrome right now. Oh, crap. <laughs> my phone just uh, heard me say Google. Uh, like my address and stuff might accidentally pop up on the side here. So I go on Firefox because I don't use it on a daily basis. So I can keep things private. And like if I accidentally search something, um, it doesn't like let's say pop up my address uh, if that was searched before. Which is something I do search a lot when I uh, look up my Redfin uh, just to see the value of my home. But yeah, I just use a, a different browser just to not get doxxed essentially. Um, wait, T81, you're playing 900p, uh, what's your system? I'm just curious, if you're trying to get, if you're looking, like, into free sync and stuff. Fantex Halos for RGB later. I haven't, let's see, Fantex Halo fans. Oh, we're up to my internet. Oh, what are these? I haven't seen these. So you put these onto 120 millimeter fans. What do they do? How much do these cost? 10 bucks? So it costs more as much as a fan itself. A cheap fan. Is this addressable? Okay, this is this video is a little too intense for what it is. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's adjustable. It's just a single color at a time. Um, yeah, so it adds a glow to the fan. I don't know. Uh, if you have plain black fans, this might be a little hard to see. And I th this is kind of expensive. 11 bucks. You can already buy... So three of them would be 33 bucks. When you can just buy some of these 
decent RGB fans for around the same price. Um, I mean, there's so much competition right now when it comes to RGB products that um, like you can get a five pack here for twenty seven bucks. Uh, let's see. I haven't been following the RX six here. When's the release date of this supposed to be? 12 December. Is it going to be an XT version? So there's only... Uh, doesn't look like there's any information on the XT. But December 12th for the 5500. What's the, press, uh, the price supposed to be? Like mid, mid 100? Like 150? We have a hundred fifty dollar mark. Okay. Um. So it's really faster than the sixteen fifty, which is going for around a hundred. Well, I guess you can get cheaper ones at like Walmart for hundred thirty-five. Is this really one thirty-five right now? Yeah. So it's supposed to be faster than that. Wow, by thirty-seven percent. It's gonna be slower than the super though, huh? Okay. Uh, so at one hundred fifty dollars, you'll be looking in the used market for something around an RX five ninety. So I needed it to look at the comparisons between the performance of those. Uh, on there's nothing on Nvidia side that really fills that one hundred fifty dollar. You go from like a ten sixty, which is like a hundred dollars right now, to a ten seventy, which jumps up to two hundred dollars. There's nothing really in between. For performance, um, or I mean, from if, we, if we're looking at the used market, uh, for AMD, you only have really have the 590 for around $150 used. Wait, with the 1050, uh, okay. I'm still on 1080p technically because I'm running a 1080p ultra wide monitor. There was a deal for um, uh, let me bring this out. Uh, not harder swap. There was a deal recently. Yeah, so these are getting lower in price. Uh, th I saw one for three hundred dollars. So this one's 350, but I think I need to start looking to a 1440p ultra wide with how cheap they're getting. 600, that's not it, that's not it. Come on, I just saw you the other day for $300. This is a mono price one. You wouldn't buy anything under six gigabytes anymore. Yeah, but you can find six gigabyte ten sixties for like a hundred and twenty ish. The cheaper alternative, see, so there's not much in the new market, uh, in terms of a cheaper alternative. But if you look used, I would get a 1070. <laughs> and that's $200. That's the cheaper alternative. So you save yourself around like 50 bucks. Because uh, 1660, uh, let's see. Actually, I'd be around the same price. So for 200 bucks, cheaper alternative for the same performance, that'd be like $175. You'd have to get like a good deal on a 1070 for that. Uh, I don't know if there's anything at exactly a hundred uh, at exactly four hundred dollars, but um, what's the ten se uh, twenty seventy going for right now? Twenty seventies are going for 
So how much is a super? Four fifty. No, super is five hundred right now. Um, and the fifty seven hundred XT. So it would be between the fifty seven hundred XT and the twenty seventy. If you're looking for four hundred ish dollars. Rakuten is 20% off. Yeah, so if we go to build the PC sales. Any of the Rakuten deals should be up on here. Um, so 32 gigs for 125. Let's see. Yeah, I should pick something up on Rakuten, <laughs> but I don't know what. Uh, so you're buying the CyberPower PC? Uh, for how much? 800 bucks? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And you get a monitor? Uh, it looks like you're looking at this one, right? 2 terabyte hard drive? 2 terabyte hard drive, um... Yeah, because the 3600... Wait, you're buying it for 800 bucks. Um... The 3600 is already worth 200 in itself. 30 bucks here, like 40 bucks here. RX 580, it's like worth 130 ish. And then you're getting a monitor for how much? It's gonna be um, 27, 27 inch. For 800 bucks, that doesn't sound bad, just off the top. Yeah, so you're getting like a $200 monitor. Uh, so 700 so it's a $500 build. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, hey, what's up, Greg? Uh, yeah, M. La Puente. That's actually not bad. Uh, if you're getting a monitor, too, for only 800 So this keyboard and mouse look like pretty bad. Uh, Greg, we got to do our... I got to start the thing that is going to be done. Uh, crap. I gotta look back at when we were supposed to start that. Oh, December 1st. Okay. Woo. I still have two days. Okay, December 1st. Never mind. Um, so it'll be after all the Black Friday deals and stuff like that. A hundred, yeah, what is the RX 580 going for right now? Brand new. I thought I was seeing sales for them for around, uh, like pretty common sales for, uh, for around 130. Don't tell me they're starting to become super expensive because they're being discontinued. <clears throat> refurb, refurb, refurb. Corn. Open box. Uh, yeah, so the new ones are going for this much, but you can find a used RX 580 for sure for 130 bucks on eBay or local listings. Wait, let me bring back that, uh, let, let me bring back the, it's pretty iffy, but considering, oh, I guess it's, it's here at Best Buy too. Uh, how fast is the RAM? Did it say it was slow RAM? Or are you just assuming that it's like 2400?
Hey, what up, Lee? The ramp can be replaced pretty easily. Um, it okay. It is going to be a budget motherboard and power supply, but the fact that he's looking into pre-builds um, kind of says that he's not going to be able to, or he's not willing to piece his parts together. So, um, in terms of available pre-builds right now, I don't think any of them use higher end components in terms of the motherboard and power supply. Like, from the searching that I did in both the spreadsheet and just general looking on Amazon earlier, there weren't any pre-builds that screamed, like, highest quality components for 600 bucks or less. Um, I For this one, I'm just mainly looking at the processor and graphics card, which is going to drive the performance. Yeah, it's a, it's a single stick here. But what you do is you take it out and you sell that, and then you replace it with, like, 16 gigabytes for, like, 60 bucks. Which you can find readily available on uh, on either Newegg or Amazon. You can also replace the power supply too. I'm not sure if whoever uh, if he's willing to do that, but you can buy like a forty dollar power supply. Actually, Best Buy right now has the EVGA six hundred watt. I wonder if it's still thirty five bucks. Yeah, it is. Uh, this would be something that you could replace in that system pretty easily. Uh, and it wouldn't drive the price up that much more. You can't do much about the motherboard. Hopefully, I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna be like an A320. Does anyone know which motherboard they use in this? Let's see if we can take a look. Um, it looks like a. Yeah, I can't see anything from this. If any, is anyone familiar with that design? Maybe it's like a Gigabyte DS3H or whichever. Yo, Ethan. Yeah, I haven't seen your name and your, your icon for a long time. Though I haven't been live streaming for a long time, so I think that's on me. I've only live streamed like a couple of times in the last year or so. Oh, it's an Asus, what? Asus Prime. Let's look this up. That's what that is? Uh, wait, how can it be an Asus Prime H310 when it's not, when it's a Ryzen? Hey, what's up, Chandra? Is that... I thought it would, was a gigabyte pattern, but let's take a look. See if we can do some... Uh, okay, so... Oh, it's got those triangles on it. So, you're right, you're right, you're right. But this, the Asus Prime doesn't have the triangles either. What motherboard has this... Wait, what is that cooler? Wait, 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 wait. No. <laughs> you can also replace a cooler pretty easily, but what? Is this what OEM system builders put on their Ryzen 5 3600s? This really old school AMD. It's not even like any of the Wraith coolers. It would be it. It'll be, okay, Asus. Oh, there it is. Then, wouldn't it be a B450? That looks like a B450 design. It's kind of hard to tell, though, right? You see the triangles? The, the Triforce? So, I'm not... At least it's not an A320, if it's the same motherboard. Let's see. Uh, is there an A320? Yeah, because the Asus Prime A320 boards do not have that triangle design. Uh, so I think it's... The, yeah, so it's this motherboard. Uh, I wouldn't say it's 
a low end or crappy motherboard. I'm surprised they actually used a B450 board and not just like a A320 with a BIOS update. Yeah, so the cooler's a bit sketch and the power supply is probably not going to be that good. <laughs> Took it off. Uh, what's the best budget Cherry MX keyboard in the market? I don't even know. Uh, the, and it depends on your definition of budget. I'm not sure what the cheapest Cherry MX keyboard is at the moment right now. Because all the ones from the major companies, they're usually no less than like 70, 80, 90 bucks. And to me, that's a little bit expensive. I kind of like my cheapo $40, $30 keyboards, even if they are like generic, uh, you know, off-brand switches. Uh, so I just saw Dev's question. You, you want a PC for Christmas that can run at least Fortnite at 60 FPS for $100? Yeah. Unless you get like some crazy good deals in your local market, because you're not going to be finding that on eBay, uh, I don't think it's really possible. Your Dell Optiplex plus a GTX 1050 combo is going to be your best bet. But even then, it's going to run a little bit more than $100. Because 1050s don't typically go for less than 50 bucks, And an Optiplex isn't going to have, like, it's usually going to have like 4 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, so you're gonna have to upgrade the RAM a bit and probably throw in an SSD. You're gonna need at least like 150 to play Fortnite, um, comfortably. Uh, hey, hey, Lee's able to post the link. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Dell Gaming PC. 500 bucks. Um, let's see. So it does come with an SSD. So it has an i7 in it, a uh, GTX 1060, doesn't say which one. Conveniently leaves out if it's a 3 gigabyte or 6 gigabyte one, but we'll overlook that. Uh, 120 SSD. <clears throat> I think for $500 though, if you're willing to build yourself, you can get a Ryzen 5 like 1600 or maybe even squeeze in a 2600 build uh, and get basically the same specs as this. So the only thing that worries me is that it's an Optiplex, which is pretty limited in terms of how you can upgrade it. Because um, if you throw in a new motherboard, um, actually, you wouldn't even want to reuse the case. This, for 500 bucks, yeah, it just seems a little bit pricey, considering you could get, I think, you can get a Ryzen uh, build for the same price. Because this, this is completely refurbished, so it's not like this is brand new either. I'm pretty sure the graphics card and the only thing new in this might be the SSD, I would feel. I don't even know what power supply it has in it. Let's see. Upgraded 450 watt. I mean, that's enough for a GTX 1060, but um, I, would, I would build your own at this price. Maybe if it was 400, it'd be... Uh, Slightly more attractive. Yeah, no worries, Lee. <laughs> yeah, twenty seven hundred X for one hundred sixty bucks still isn't that bad. It just sucks that Micro Center isn't available everywhere, and they have it for one thirty with the thirty dollar off combo. I'm dying right now. I need a drink. Woke up, and the first thing I did was run to make a thumbnail for this stream. The most basic thumbnail ever. Please tell me this has water in it. It doesn't. Great. All right, how long have we been going for? I think I got to end soon at, like, the hour 30 mark. Just because this... I woke up late. Uh, Mr. Khan, how's life? Life's good. I actually just went on vacation with Melissa. We were in Thailand and Vietnam, which is why the uploads have been pretty slow. Uh, we spent two weeks in Southeast Asia, so that was good. Um, yeah, so I didn't really do much. I had a pre uh, video pre-uploaded, ready to go. But other than that, uh, I didn't think much about YouTube at all. 
uh, just kind of spent time there and relaxed, and that was really nice. I haven't had a, a long vacation in a long time, so. Hey, what's up, uh, Crichton? Let's see. Here's one best offer. All right, let's see. Custom-built Vega 8 graphics. So that's the 3200G or 2200G. So it's 2200G. Comparable to a GTX 10... A GT 1030. Um, 16 GB of RAM. Hey, at least it has good RAM. Uh, thermal take power supply. And, an, okay, decently sized SSD. I wonder how low you can get to the best offer to. But even then, not a... I'm not too much big of a fan of this case. If you want this to be a gaming PC, you have to throw a graphics card in it, which is going to drive the price up another hundred-ish dollars. Uh, so then you're looking at like a five hundred dollar PC, depending on how much you can talk offer this down to. Uh, but this case is very; it feels very archaic uh, in terms of the design and the fact that it just doesn't have tempered glass. Um, and then the 2200G is going to be pretty slightly limited. The best computer you can get for $400, they say, but he's listing at $450. Um, I don't know. I think I would still pass on this one considering I wouldn't use it as is. I would want to throw in a $100 graphics card, which essentially brings it back up to $500. Uh... And you could build something with like a Ryzen 1600 with that at that price point. I mean, at least he uses uh, like a B450 board with 16 gigab gigabytes of at least 3 gigahertz RAM. And a 500 SSD. Ah, yes. Fully activated Windows 10 Home. $100 value. It's not like he went on eBay and bought like a $3 key to, to activate the system. I'm pretty sure he didn't do that. Yeah, I wonder how much you can lowball this for. Let's see if I can... Uh, actually, I'm not logged in right now. I would lowball it to like 350 just to just to see. Okay. Asus Gaming Desktop from, from Mr. Pool. Wait, is this what you're asking about? You should not have 8 gigabytes of RAM in the system if it's going to cost nearly $1,000. So what redeeming factors does this have? A 1660 Ti? Eh. This is a $1,000 PC though. 9400F. This, this is overpriced. I think this one's going for... See, it has... It has a, what, 240 millimeter radiator and it, a slightly nicer case. Oh no, it's only 120 millimeters. What? Yeah, so this is... I think this is trying to leverage the fact that it actually looks decent. Um, but it's way too overpriced for the specs. Like I'm okay with spending a little bit on aesthetics, but not to this degree. Uh, I haven't... Let's see, 8 gigabytes for Fortnite. I don't remember. I don't remember the last time I ran something with 8 gigabytes in it uh, in Fortnite. But let's see. And then especially with the Season 2 coming out, changing the game slightly. Uh, it's a Season 2 8 gigabyte RAM. I'm sure there's videos in it right now, but this is old. You would want to look for something that's actually from 2019. So we, we will look for that right now. Because uh, I don't remember... Let's see. Fortnite 8GB RAM versus 16. So basically you do this and you look for the most recent video. Filter by upload date. Someone's had to have done the comparison. Let's see. DirectX 11 versus 12... Alright, we'll look at the old one and see what the difference was. 
We have to watch his ad first, though. All right, so let's see how much is being utilized right now. So in both cases, whether it's eight or 16 gigs, we're looking at around five gigabyte utilization. Let's go to like a heavier, yep, still five gigabytes. They're just standing around, do they not? Yeah, so it doesn't look like it's gonna make that much of a difference. So eight gigabytes seems like it's fine. Yeah, just based on this, I'm I'm not sure how much season two changed it because this is this is from a year over a year ago. So, but if I had to guess, I would say eight gigabytes fine. Yeah, I, the last time I tested Fortnite on like a low end system with eight gigabytes has been, I think, over a year now. One gigabyte versus four. Yeah, uh, you wouldn't even. <laughs> I don't think. How would you even get one gigabyte unless you actually went in and disabled it? Yeah, uh, e Isa makes or Isa makes a good point. You wouldn't be able to run like all these tabs that I have right here in the background. Jeez, how many tabs do I have open since starting the stream? I'm really bad at closing my tabs. This it's the same way when I'm doing normal stuff on Google Chrome. I don't close tabs just in case I need them. So I just constantly open new ones. Oh, chapter two, not season two. I'm sorry. I'm not a Fortnite player, so that's uh, chapter two, four, or not four, eight versus 16. Yeah, uh, I don't think there's any videos on that, though. Yeah, not everything is from 2018, so no search for that. Um... Okay, so we're coming up on an hour and a half mark here. Um, in terms of, I guess I should ask this at the beginning of the stream, but I, there might be more people on here now. But uh, what, what were the best deals that you guys got this Black Friday? For me, it was this uh, Nest, in case anyone missed it. This was the best Black Friday deal that I got. $80 off this Nest thermostat. I didn't get any PC components because I didn't see anything that was crazy aside from like the Micro Center 2700X going for $130. Uh, 2700X. Like this is probably one of the best deals that I've seen, but I don't have access to it unfortunately. Uh, let me bring back the spreadsheet, if I can find that tab. Uh, Ryzen, okay, here we go. So we look for Ryzen. So 2700, uh, what? So 2700 is going for 140 bucks, and it comes. Okay, uh, someone asked if we went over Ryzen deals, but um, not in particular yet. But this is going for 10 more dollars than the 2700X from Micro Center. But everyone has, has access to this, and you get Borderlands 3 or The Outer Worlds, which I'm not sure how much those are still going for. Like I'm not sure if those are on sale or not, but. Borderlands 3. PC download. Apparently you can get the keys if you go gray market for cheaper. How much is it on Steam? Or is it an Epic Games thing? I think it's an Epic Games Store exclusive, right? Forty bucks right now. So, if that's valued at 40 bucks, then this actually becomes a really good deal.
this one right here. So, Jesus or Jesus with three S's is asking, this is 760 bucks. Okay, X has an NVMe SSD. Uh, <laughs> GeForce GTX 1660, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, okay, but what are the what, what are the actual components? Do the does it list it out? I don't think it does. So it's hard to tell them. It's probably gonna be a low end. Uh, can we look at this? And see, I can't identify that motherboard. But in terms of like power, you gotta assume the power supply and the motherboard are gonna be kind of entry level, unless they list it. But at least it's not single channel RAM. Uh, and then this this case actually looks pretty nice. Um, what issues? I'm not sure if I have any issues with this build. It's just that you can build something uh, for the same price. So 200 bucks here, and then the 1660, which is going to be discontinued for the 1660 Super, but these are going for 200. So 400 bucks in this build already for the CPU and graphics card. So at least 350 for the case, RAM, power supply, everything else. So yeah, I think you could build it on your own for the same price or less. But I'm not. This doesn't scream like a scam or a horrible deal to me. No, this. I don't think this is rip jaws. I think that these are the A data. Ah. Uh. It's the one that looks like a house. I think it's these ones. These are XPG. I think it's this one. I'm pretty sure it is. I've, I've, when I walked into Best Buy before, I've seen a lot of their pre built have these. I think these are pretty ugly, but, uh, you know, Ram's Ram in terms of performance. <laughs> no, I, oh, I don't think this looks like the T Force Ram at all. Uh, it's hard to tell from this angle, but it's definitely the, the Monopoly house or hotel looking things. Uh, sorry, Lee, I just saw your, your message about the peripherals. Um, yeah, monitor prices are coming, they're getting super cheap. Like you can get 24 inch high refresh rates for way cheaper than we've ever seen them before. Uh, in terms of mouse and keyboards, I mean, I've been using those same ones that I've had for a really long time, and I haven't uh, been looking into that market or making content on it all that much. So I can't speak on keyboards and mice, really, uh, in terms of peripherals, or headsets either, because uh, I don't use gaming headsets. So I would assume everything is just going down lower in price, though, because there's so much more competition Yeah, so if you build yourself, 400 is going to go, if you're going to build something similar with all brand new components. The RAM, let's say let's say it's 60 bucks, and then the SSDs, that, so you're going to be spending at least 500 on the processor, graphics card, RAM, and SSD, because this is, it's actually an NVMe SSD, assuming it's not just M.2. So it's going to be like 60 bucks for this 512 gigs, and then 60 bucks here. So you're already into the 500 plus dollar territory without the case motherboard power supply and i guess any fans uh so i think it's, it's gonna be pretty close uh you would have to look uh more into detail and source the build yeah definitely um i need to pick up a high so i think the 1080p stuff is pretty accessible and i guess everything else is getting cheaper but for ultra wides I think they're still pretty pricey for the most part, unless there's a good sale. So that's why I haven't upgraded my monitors, and I'm not sure when I will. Um, 
wait, uh, Jesus with three S's at the end. Are you against building yourself? Like you, you just don't want to build yourself at all. Or if you're open to building it yourself, I'm sure you can build something as good, if not slightly better, for this price. Is it worth going 1440p from 1080p? If your system can actually run it, if you look at the resolution difference, uh, I forgot what it was. So 2560 times 1440 is 3.6 million, right? Versus 1080 times 1920 times 1080, that's about 2 million. Yeah. So you're looking at a 50% increase in pixel density. So you're going to see a performance drop unless... Well, you're going to see a performance drop no matter what. So you got to make sure your system is able to run it. Um, yeah, I saw those, Lee. Uh, very tempted to pick them up. Then I'll move my one 34-inch up. And then I'll have a mix and match. One 1080p ultrawide and one 1440p ultrawide. Oh, man, I've had so many companies want to send me ultra-wide 1440p's, but they cost like six, $700, and it just won't be an interesting video at all. So I would just be getting free stuff for them making boring content. Oh, yeah, Jesus, so you're saying you don't know how to build? Um... Building's pretty simple. Like, uh, tons of channels have build guides where they actually walk you through doing each, each of the steps. I typically don't do that. But I don't think I've ever done a build guide where I talk about every single step. But I know, like, Joey Delgado, Ed from TechSource, Mark from Scatterbolt, uh, Toasty Bros, Tech by Matt. They've all done builds where they literally walk you step by step how to insert everything in the different slots and things like that. So. We will watch for you. All right. See you later, Lee. Thanks for stopping by. We will watch for you to get free stuff. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Um, though, I do have some stuff coming up that, uh, should be pretty interesting, hopefully in the new year. That's all I'm going to say about that for now. <laughs> Monitor deals. Uh, we went through a few of them earlier. If you check on Amazon, there's some for like 100 or less. 1080p, 60 hertz like you're talking about. It's future-proof, but be better for pro productivity. Well, yeah, if you're doing... If you're not gaming, then yeah. Having the extra... Uh, the higher resolution is helpful. But I'm assuming they're talking from a gaming perspective only. Um, the, the jump to 1440p is pretty high. Like, uh, you'll see a noticeable decrease in performance and, like, frame rate, so... Unless you have like a 1070 or like a 1660, it's hard to make the recommendation. Oh, what's up, Rafi? Nice. Yeah. Well, last year, the, the Ryzen's were still really cheap, though. Like, you still could get a Ryzen 7 1700 for, like, 150 bucks last year, I think. So, um, I, I don't recommend Intel too often, especially since most people are looking for uh, kind of lower end or lower cost builds that come to my channel, so. Oh, yeah, no, no, Jesus, there's no, there's no stores local to us that are worth it. Fry's isn't really worth it. And we don't have a micro center. So definitely order things on Newegg and Amazon. If you live in Washington. I wouldn't even say a 2080 Super can game at 4K. On like the heaviest titles. 
there's no true 4K graphics card in my opinion um, yet. All right, guys, we're coming up on an hour and 45 minutes, so I got to call it just because it's past noon now, and I, I haven't eaten breakfast or anything yet, so I'm starving, and I haven't even had water since waking up, so my throat is killing me. Uh, so thanks for attending the stream. Um, I would say typically on Black Fridays, there aren't crazy good deals except for doorbuster stuff, like for TVs and stuff at the stores, uh, but from the online retailers, you'll get most of the similar deals that you'll find throughout the year um except for this i think this is my favorite deal from this black friday this 27 inch but it's a micro center one so it's pretty limited everything else i mean we've been seeing great prices for ssds and ram even before this black friday so uh it's not like the prices that we're seeing today are super uh cheap or that much lower um One hundred minutes with a hundred watching, nice. Uh, I just want to say thanks to everyone for uh, for showing up and just hanging out. Um, we, we went over the spreadsheet a little bit, but there's way too much going on here. It's just if you're looking for a certain item, just hit Control F and then or you know change it to sort by category and look for you know if you're looking for SSD processor or whatever. Um, but there wasn't too many like super standout, amazingly good deals I like had to tweet out. Um, what do you guys buy though? I'm curious. I'm sure people were up to midnight looking for stuff. Well, there's no deals in Germany because you guys don't share the same Thanksgiving and Black Friday as us, right? So, yeah, it makes sense that. Um, People from other countries probably don't see as, you know, many sales as we do in the U.S. 5700 XT uh, Sapphire for 369 Nice. The best low-priced 144 hertz monitor, I think it was that $130 Biotech one that we saw. I think that was the only one. Uh, if you go to this this spreadsheet, NZXT is having a sale. Uh, if you like the look of their cases, it's anywhere from like ten to forty dollars off. Um, in terms of the best cases, though, that's such a subjective thing because some people are looking for it to have like with or without fans. Some people want mesh panels. Some people don't care about airflow. Uh, it's hard to say what the best deal is. Uh, I don't have anything off the top of my head except for like, I like the deep cool matrix case. And that's probably one of my favorite budget cases to go to. It's supposed to be 40 bucks, but I think they recently increased the price back up to 50. The, oh, that's not it. Yeah, this deep cool matrix 55. Um, this is just one of my favorite low cost, good looking tempered glass cases. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's looking through all the stuff that you guys are saying. You, uh, it didn't look like people bought too crazy of deals on Black Friday. Just kind of the typical stuff that they would buy or they could buy any time throughout the year. Yeah, I need to find a Western Digital external. I can't believe there were not many deals on that. What is the best non-RGB case? What is the best non-RGB case? Um, I like the Q300L. <laughs> I mean, this is technically a non-RGB case. It has good airflow. Um... And I think it looks unique. Again, best is subjective. I like cases for a lot different reasons than a lot of people. 
Like, I like cases that look more like cubes and that are smaller form factor, but that's my definition of best for me. Oh, yeah, Black November. Isn't that what they called it? Where it's supposed to be like a whole month of deals? Yeah, I, I, I usually don't buy into the hype of those things. Cases without RGB can't be best. That's true. Um, okay, let me look for a shuckable. What external drive deals did they have this year? 10 terabytes for 160. 8 terabytes for 120. 10 terabytes for 160. Uh, I think I'll wait a little bit longer before getting one of these. The H five hundred, I, it comes with R. I think it only comes with RGB fans. They don't have a version that don't come with fans, so it's technically an RGB case. Uh, Kingslayer. I'm not sure if Cyber Monday is gonna have that great of deals. Motherboards are kind of, I don't know. I don't typically see crazy sales for them. Yeah, no, it is time to build a NAS. I've actually had a Synology. They wanted to send over a NAS. Um, I forgot what their their little the little um, NAS boxes are called, but they wanted to send one over. But I was like, I cannot make interesting content on this. So I'm not going to just take your, you know, $300 enclosure and then get a video that has like 2,000 views. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what I end up doing. You can always cut the LEDs to the fans. That'd be a waste. What you can do is just set it to a neutral color, like white. Um, or you can, I think you can turn off, if you hook this up, you can turn off the fan colors probably if it's controllable by motherboard. So, um, all right, guys. Oh man, I think my I'm not I'm not gonna show my big face. Oh yep, I'm not gonna show how chapped my lips are right now. But uh, I think that's gonna be it for the stream. Thanks to everyone who attended and viewed. Um, tweet at me if you see any other deals throughout the day. I'll be looking too. I'll try to tweet out any other deals that may pop up midday. Um, but other than that, I'm trying to work on the land party series before the end of the weekend to get that one out as well. And I have a couple of build videos coming up around like the $600, $700 price point. So, Oh, yeah. It's like, it's definitely uh, a very niche topic, Isa. Oh, what is a Nest thermostat, he's asking. So a lot of houses, if you have like central AC or heating, you know, you control it. It usually looks like this, though. The Nest is like, it looks more futuristic, but it's, it, it, it uh, Honeywell is a popular brand. It basically replaces these like Honeywell thermostats. Mine is an old school one. Mine's a really old one. I'm not sure if there's even a picture on it. But mine ha mine's not even touch screen or anything or have buttons. But I'm basically going to replace something like this to something that can be controlled over my Wi-Fi. So I can like heat up the house before I get home. Especially during the winter. That's when I want it for the most. But yeah. Um, other, it looks like some people are just tuning in right now. Hey, what's up Extreme Gaming? Um, yeah, other than that, uh, let me know if you guys find any deals. Just tweet them at me. Twitter, Neuron Budget. And then I also tweet out wherever I find. The only thing I tweeted out so far has been this Best Buy deal, though, for this power supply because we're in, like, a power supply drought. Uh, but just tweet them at me, and then, yeah. Everyone, have a good rest of your weekend. I uh, hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving and a great rest of your holiday break. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video, which should hopefully be within the next week. We'll see. All right, bye.